Yo, what's up? In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this really cool looking 2D motion graphics intro. And we will learn how to make this nice background, these transition at the beginning and the end, and the small text effects, and most importantly, of course, the motion graphic animations like the circle bursts and line animations. And yeah, everything is super simple, and I will put everything into chapters so you can just select the chapters that you want to learn like if you just want to learn how to make the, the lines and circle burst you can just look it up on the yeah, youtube timeline but everything is super simple and i'd say let's just start by creating a new composition and first of all let's make a background so just right click in here and add a new solid and i just like to make it dark gray so not completely black but Dark gray, dark gray should look good, just like this. And then with this selected, we can duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. And yeah, search for the grid effect on the in the effects tab and just apply it to the upper layer. And yeah, this looks good, but we can just press T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity settings and just bring down the opacity to 10% just like this and I think this looks more interesting than just a plain normal background so I think the grid, grid effect makes it more interesting but yeah let's add a text so just right click again and add a text with brick and I'll just type in motion for this example and press S to scale it up just like this and yeah I used the Pepsi font which you can just download on the internet for free but yeah just so you know and yeah now we can go to the align tab and if you don't see the align tab here you can just go to window and make sure it is visible with this check mark and yeah but then let's go to the align tab and just align it horizontally and vertically so the text is right in the center and yeah i just gave it a nice orange but of course this is up to you and yeah okay let's animate this a little bit so first of all if we press r for rotation and rotate it as you can see it will rotate around this point and we don't want that of course so let's go backwards and select the the anchor point thing in the toolbar and just move the anchor point right into the center and yeah it's good that we have already made this grid so we can actually see the center this is a nice side effect but yeah as soon as this is in the center we can rotate it around the yeah around the center which is good and yeah actually for this example let's press the toggle switches tab down here to go to these settings so not this one but these settings and make sure to check the 3d yeah checkbox here so yeah now we can rotate it on any axis so for this example let's just put a 90 at the beginning so go to the beginning of the animation and put a 90 and make a keyframe and then just go forward like one and a half seconds and put in zero so we get this yeah slow but nice reveal but let's make it fast at the beginning so select the x rotation so just click on it and open up the graph editor and click on it again just like this and now we can press the easy east tab on the lower right here and yeah click somewhere and just select the upper keyframe and bring this down just like this and what this does is it will start fast and then slow down just like this and it will look more smooth so yeah this will be our fade and text animation and yeah, let's actually make a fade and background animation and for this one let's select both of our background layers and pre-compose them real quick and we can just call it background just like this and now we can search for the linear wipe effect which is under transition and apply it to our background and change the wipe angle to 45 degrees and as we can see, if we change the transition completion effect or setting, yeah, it just moves like this. So let's go to the beginning and bring it to, yeah, 100%. And then just go forward like one and a half seconds 
and bring this down just like this to zero. And again, let's make this faster. So the beginning will be fast and then it will slow down. So open up the, the wipe settings and just press yeah, transition completion, open up the graph editor, check it again, and then just select the yeah, easy ease effect. And now we have to bring this down just like this. So again, this will go really fast and then slow down just like this. Yeah, this is good. Okay, but now we can see that the text is above the background and yeah, it should be invisible on this part. So for this, let's duplicate the background just like this and bring it up so it will be above the motion yeah, or above the text layer and then just toggle the mode again to these settings and go to the matte effect and change this to our upper background in the effects or no in the text tab and now we can see this will be inside our background and this is exactly what we like just like this and i think this reveal already looks cool but of course now nothing happens and this is the point where we'll add some nice motion graphic effects so let's just go somewhere where we can see most of the background and just add a new shape layer by pressing right click again and selecting a shape layer and then select the pen tool in the toolbar and just draw a line which you think the yeah the line should follow just like this maybe for this example let's go forward a bit and yeah this looks really weird so let's open up the shape the shape layer and change a few settings so open up the contents open up the shape and first of all select the fill and delete it because we don't want this at all and then open up the stroke and just change the stroke width to something like i think 25 looks good but depending on how thick you want it to be but i think yeah this looks this looks good and yeah nothing happens so we have to animate this so let's go to add and yeah select the trim path thing and with this thing we can just animate our line so let's go somewhere yeah where the background is completed like here and bring down the end to zero just like this and place a keyframe and then just go forward like one or two seconds however you long you want it to be and bring this up to 100 and yeah now we can see this just follows the path and then we can go somewhere in the middle or mm, yeah somewhere like between the keyframes like this and place a keyframe at the start effect and then just go to the somewhere at the end but like um, behind the the actual end and just bring up the start again so yeah, what this does, first the line starts moving and then the tail basically just moves behind it. So make sure the start animation is a bit behind the, yeah, the end animation. So it will move like this and I think this looks really cool. But I want to change a, more, a few more settings on this one. So first of all, let's change the line cap to round cap and we can open up the taper effect as well and change the start length to something like 80% and now we get this more smooth line and yeah I think this looks really cool of course this one is really fast as you can see if you want to change that you can just bring the last two keyframes more to the right but this is up to you basically but yeah this looks cool maybe let's select all the keyframes and make it start a bit earlier like here and yeah this is nice so let's just um, yeah, close this and press ctrl d to duplicate this real quick to get another one of these and press r for rotation and we can just put in 180 and move it a bit to the right of the timeline so it will be here and here and of course if you don't want it to be that symmetrical you can just select the pen tool again and just move the upper curve a bit to whatever you like it's completely up to you but yeah for this example I will just leave it like this 
And yeah, in the example you also have seen the, the circle burst effects. And let's do this as well, because these always look good. So let's add a new shape layer again. And open it up and add a ellipse, just like this. And a stroke, just like this. And turn up the stroke width to something like 25 again, or 30, whatever you like. And yeah, let's animate this thing as well. So go to wherever you wanted to start and open up the ellipse path and change the size to zero and make a keyframe. And then just go forward again like one second and bring this to whatever size you like. I just go with something like this. And yeah, now this is animated as well. But again, this is quite slow, so let's make it fast. So it looks more like an explosion. So just go to size and open up the graph editor again. And yeah, click on it so everything is selected and press the Easy East tab. And let's just bring this up just like this. And yeah, now you can see this just explodes more. But then it just stays and we don't want it to stay. So let's change something for this real quick. So just go in the middle of these two keyframes and also make a keyframe at stroke width and then just go to the end or right before the end and put this to zero. So now, yeah, this will just vanish. And yeah, this is really cool. So let's press, uh, let's select this and press Ctrl D again to duplicate this a few times and move it around. You can press S to scale it up or down and just, yeah, just place it on the timeline. So we have multiple of these and yeah, of course, let's just move this one somewhere here. Scale it down a bit maybe, press Ctrl D, just make a few of these and change the positions and sizes until you have something that you like. Um, yeah, just like this and yeah. I think this looks cool, but let's just bring up the text a bit. So make sure to select the text and the background, which is above the text, because as you can remember, we mask this out a bit and select both these and just bring it up. So yeah, this is above everything else. And yeah, maybe we can make even one more shape layer. And where is this one? It's right here, bring it somewhere here. And you can of course change the color of these. So just open up the stroke setting and just you can maybe select the yeah this this tool and just copy the color of the text so maybe we have one orange one this should look good and yeah that's it almost but we're not done yet let's make um, a fade out transition for all of these again so let's select all of these layers with pressing shift and just selecting the first and last one and pre-compose these, just like this. Now everything is in one layer and we can make a fade out animation really easy. For, yeah, so let's just go to the effects tab and look for the transitions. So just open this up and select the, the grid wipe transition for this thing and just apply it. And yeah, as soon as you want this animation to end, like somewhere in here, you can just place a keyframe at completion at 0% and then just go forward again and bring this up to 100 and we get this really cool looking transition. So yeah, that's it basically. It's super simple and of course I made this really quickly so you can make this better of course. Like I think in this example the whole motion graphics start way too late. They should start somewhere here probably which would look, which would look better but I think yeah, it's enough for this example. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.